Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. Welcome to our video on integrating odd powers of sine and cosine. When you have integrals with sine and cosine terms and you have at least one odd power, then that's what we're talking about here. And all of these are the examples that we're going to do, these five problems. In all of these, the idea would be to save one copy of whatever you have an odd power of. You're going to keep that for du. You're going to turn everything else into u and do a u substitution. So we'll go ahead and start with our cosine cube x dx is our first one. Uh, obviously this is an odd power, so I save one copy of cosine, one piece of that odd power, to be part of du. So we want to break off one copy of cosine x. In the way that we're looking at this, I think you want to actually consider what you're choosing for du first. So if this is du, in other words, du is cosine x dx, then I would need u to be sine of x. If u is sine x, then du is cosine x dx. So we're really saving one copy and creating a du first and then we change everything else in terms of u. So the remaining stuff needs to be in terms of sine x, and the way we'll do that is Pythagorean identity. So if we go ahead and do this this way, we'll think of this as 1 minus sine squared of x times cosine x dx. And now for this one, our u substitution will work. We will go ahead and plug that in, and we will get 1 minus u squared du. That will give us u minus 1 third u cubed plus c. And then we'll go back and replace our u. u was sine x, so our integral ends up being sine of x minus 1 third sine cubed x plus c for this one. Let's go back and look at the other one. We have integral of sine cube x. In this one we have an odd power of sine, so we save one power to be part of du. So this will be sine squared x times sine x dx. And so think about what we have. We're going to choose something involving sine x to be part of du, so we want our u's then to be in terms of cosine x. So we really want to change this one using a Pythagorean identity as well. So we'll change this one, 1 minus cosine squared x, sine x dx. And if we want u to be cosine of x, then technically we're off by a sign here, right? du is negative sine x dx. Uh, so you could actually, if you want to change the signs here, multiply both sides by negative 1 because you really have positive sine x dx here, right? So positive sine x dx is actually negative du, right? So we would have negative integral of 1 minus u squared du. Just a power rule here also, so we'll have negative, I'll go ahead and start my answer, that would be u minus one-third u cubed plus c, and then if I distribute the minus here and replace my u, remember in this case u was cosine x, so I would have negative cosine x, negative distributed would make this plus one-third cosine cubed x is our u cubed, plus our constant. Okay, so again, the idea on these two, save one copy uh, u substitution after we did a Pythagorean identity. Same idea here, I have cosine to the fifth x in this one, so I'll, this is an odd power. I'll save one copy of our odd power, so I'll make this cosine to the fourth x times that extra copy of cosine x dx. So if I'm saving cosine to be part of du, then that means u should be in terms of sine. So we'll need to change this into sines. So when we're converting this cosine to the fourth x, we will want to think of this as cosine squared x times cosine squared x there. That's this part. Uh, the reason we do that is we can only convert squares with 
Pythagorean identities, right? Because they are one minus sine squared and one minus cosine squared of x. So we're still saving this cosine x dx to be part of du. Now that we have them broken down into cosine squared x terms, each of these I can use a Pythagorean identity on, right? So this will become one minus sine squared x and another one minus sine squared x. And then I still have my cosine x dx that I'm waiting to use as part of du. Okay, so now we're at the step where we're going to say, well, u is equal to sine x, and du is going to equal cosine x dx. So this part here is definitely du. This part here, I have two quantities, and I'm going to have to distribute those. So I really have 1 minus u squared times another 1 minus u squared, and then I have du after that. So we'll need to distribute this. If we do that, we'll get 1 times 1. I'll get a negative u squared from the inside and the outside, so that's a negative 2u squared, and then negative u squared times negative u squared gives me positive u to the fourth. du, we go ahead and do our integration now, so just power rules, we'll get u minus, the power will go up by 1 to 3, and we'll divide by that, so it's 2 thirds u to the third. Plus, here the power will go up by 1, and we'll divide by that. So that's 1 fifth u to the 5 plus c, and then we can go ahead and rewrite our answer in terms of sine x, u is sine x, so we would say sine x minus 2 thirds sine cubed x plus 1 fifth sine to the fifth x. See a little bit of a pattern there. We're getting some nice odd powers for our answer on this one. Okay, so that's that one. Let's jump back up and look at the other one. We've got sine cubed x, cosine squared x. Now in this one, uh, my cosine is an even power. So if I'm saving one copy from the odd power, I'll have to save from sine. I don't have the option to save from cosine here. So I'll save one copy from the odd power of sine x, so we'll say sine squared x, cosine squared x, and I'm going to save that one copy of sine times sine x dx. Okay, so think about what we're doing here. If sine, I'm saving this to be part of du. If sine is du in some way, it may be off by a negative, um, then cosine needs to be u. So we want to keep the cosines that we already have, and we want to change these signs, because if du has sine in it, I need everything else to be in terms of cosines for u du to work out. So we will go ahead and say 1 minus cosine squared x for the sine squared x term. We have another cosine squared x that we wanted to keep. Sine x dx is going to be part of my du. And now we move forward with u substitution. So in this one, u is going to be cosine x du is actually going to be negative sine x dx. So if I want to know exactly what to replace sine x dx with, I can change the signs here. So negative du is what I replace sine x dx with. And then we'll go ahead and write this down. So we'll have negative integral of 1 minus u squared. We have a u squared outside that we'll have to distribute. And then we have the du, right? So there's our negative du in the front and in the back. If we distribute the u squared, we'll get negative integral of u squared minus u to the 4 du. Again, just power rules now once we've got our substitution finished here. So this will be negative. Uh, power rule would make this 1 third u cubed. If I distribute the negative to the next one, that will be plus u to the 5, power goes up by 1, we divide by the 5 also, plus c. So we'll go ahead and replace our u's now. Remember in this one u is cosine x. So we go back and say negative 1 third cosine cubed x plus 1 fifth cosine to the fifth x plus c. Okay, let's look at one more. We've got one more here. 
In this one, we have both of them being odd powers. So in this one, it doesn't actually matter which one I save a copy of. I can choose either one because either one is an odd power. So I could choose one copy of sine and save it to be part of du, or one copy of cosine and save it to be part of du. Um, in this one, I don't know. I'll just choose to pull out, let's say, one copy of cosine, just because it's on the end. So we have integral of sine cubed x cosine squared x cosine x dx. Okay, so if this is going to be du in terms of cosines, then u needs to be in terms of sines, right? So I keep the sine cube that I already have, and I change my cosine squared x part. I will have sine cubed x times the quantity 1 minus sine squared x from Pythagorean identity, and then we'll have cosine x dx. Doing our u sub right now, we will say u is sine x, and du is cosine x dx. All right, that will give us the integral of u cubed out front times the quantity 1 minus u squared, so we'll have to do some distributing there, du, right? So let's do that on the same line here. If I distribute my u cubed, that would be integral of u cubed minus u to the 5 du. Just a power rule now, so if we integrate that, we will get 1 fourth u to the 4 minus 1 over 6 u to the 6 plus our constant. We'll replace u back in terms of our original variable x, so u was sine x, so we'll say 1 fourth sine to the 4x minus 1 sixth sine to the 6x plus c. Okay, so again on these we are saving one copy for du, if we need to change anything to the other function, changing sines to cosines or cosines to sines, we use Pythagorean identity. Then we'll use u substitution and everything becomes a nice power rule. All right, hopefully this helps you on your odd powers of sine and cosine. Check out our video on even powers of sine and cosine to work on those. We'll catch you in the next one.